So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second bite to build our crime game. This time we're going to learn how to create functions and how global and local variables work. And uh, let's start, you know, continue building on the game. Um, functions, for those of you that do not know, are reusable pieces of code. So for example, if you're building a game, probably you want to build some kind of help function that the user can call in at any time in the game so you can give them instructions or oh, remember this is how you do this and that. And the best way to build that is to create that piece of code separately that then you can call in any time the user wants. So we're going to use functions all over the game. So it's really, really useful to know how to use them. And what we will end up is with this piece of code. It looks very similar to what we've already done, but it's not because, you know, this is a technical part. It's just how it is built behind the scenes. So we will have some introductory text and then it will ask for the name and then it will say hello. Okay. So if you click here, it will take you to GitHub to the byte two, and then you can click here and open in collab to open it in collab and start working. Right. So I've already opened it and we're going to get working. Here you will see the video, this video once it's published and all that stuff, so it's not ready yet. Okay. Okay, so as I mentioned before, uh, functions are reducible pieces of code. And uh, we're going to create our first function, so the syntax is def, and then the name of the function, my function. And then you have parentheses. If you want to have arguments for the function, you put them in there. In this case, we're going to start without any arguments, so we leave it empty. I'll tell you just in a second what an argument is. Semicolon, and then enter, and then we're going to print my name is Ruth. So shift enter. And as you can see, it doesn't return anything because for a function to return something, you have to explicitly tell that you have to do it. So what you would do is you do my function and then the parentheses. In this case, um, we don't have any arguments, so we don't put anything between the parentheses. Shift enter, and then it returns what we told them, which is print my name is Ruth. Beautiful. Now, we're going to create a function that has an argument inside. So it's going to be similar to the one up here, so my function, but the argument here is going to be username. So we can actually input between the parentheses any username and it will print. My name is, but instead of Ruth, it's going to print the username. Okay, I'll show you how it works. So shift enter, and then we need to call it, right? So we can actually call it in the same line. We can do my function, and then here put Ruth uh, between, this is text, so it needs to be between the shift enter, and then it says my name is Ruth. You can put Alan. You can put, you, you see what I mean, right? So the username now is the argument, and we can put any argument we want, and it will execute the print statement that we had. So easy, very easy, very useful. Now, we're going to talk about global and local variables. It's actually quite important, uh, and I'm going to show you why. So we're going to create a function that asks the user for their name, the store is in a variable called, and stores in a variable called participant, okay? So we're going to create a function, so, you know, def, and then the function name, username, for example. You know, Python uses uh, underscore everything lower, lowercase, for the variable names and function names and anything. So just so you know, I think it makes it very, very clear to, you know, see. So this is the function called username and then uh, enter. And then we're going to have a variable called participant. You know, we want to store the name of the um, uh, participant of the player, so we can call it throughout the game. So we're going to store the name of the participant and then ask the participant to give us a name. So the same that we did on the first byte. What is your name? 
So just to be very clear, this is a function that asks the player for their name and stores it in a variable called participant. Okay, so enter, and then we're going to call the function at the same time. So shift enter, and it says, what is your name? Ruth. And if we will now like to print the participant, you know, we have now asked for the participant to give us their name. We have stored it in a function, and now we want to, in a variable, and now we want to call the variable. If you remember how to call the variable, you just did participant. Participant. Shift enter. And it gives us an error, right? So why is it giving us an error? We have executed it. The participant uh, value has been recorded and stored, but still when we call it, it says the name participant is not defined. It is defined. So what's going on? Here's the thing. Variables, unless specified otherwise, if they are within a function, they will only be able to be executed in the function, not outside, unless you use or you define it as a global variable. So if I go in here and I do print participant, So what is her name? Ruth. And then it's, you see that it gets printed, so it's being properly defined, but you can only use it within the variable, within the function, unless you define it as a global uh, variable. So how do you do that? Let me copy this piece of text, and then we're going to get here and do one more code, paste it, and in here, normally global variables are defined at the top of the function, so you can easily see them. And they are defined like this. You just write global, and then you write participant, right? And then we are going to delete these. And we are going to execute the, the function, and then we are going to call participant the variable outside. You can see that we are not in the indented part. We are outside of the function now. So if I print this, what is your name? Ruth. It works because now we have said, okay, even though this variable is defined within the function, you can actually use it everywhere else by making it a global variable. Okay? And this is going to be very, very, very useful for us while we're creating the game because we will be using and defining a lot of variables within functions, but we want to be able to access them outside the function, okay? So this is what you need to do for this next byte. You are going to create two functions. One, you are going to create a function called intro, and that is going to give you the this bit, right? So this is just the introduction text. And then you're going to create another function, and you're going to call that def username and that is going to ask for um, what is your name that part right and then intro the last part is going to be executed outside of the function so like that right so then you call the intro function you call the username function, and then you do the last print statement. Okay? Okay, so it looks like our game is coming along nicely. Let me know if you think that these bytes are going too fast or too slow. Give me feedback. Let me know what you think about the game. And I will see you again on the next bite. See you soon.